I owe a great deal to Reillusion's tools, specifically to Character Creator and iClone. Without them, I wouldn't be able to generate and then animate hundreds of characters for my Heroes of Bronze videos. I really can't overstate the role these tools have played in my workflow, and so, anytime there's a new update, I like to jump on board as soon as I can and see what the guys at Reillusion have prepared for us this time. Not so long ago, Character Creator got such an update and with the new version 5, there are some great new features that I really wanted to show you. First off, let me show you how I use Character Creator. This tool is really, really great at generating human meshes and then quickly editing and texturing them. All these are automatically rigged, so you can drag and drop animations on them and even add realistic facial expressions. You can also easily import animations from other sources, not just Reillusion's actor core, but also Mixemo and other libraries. In my case, I then export these to iClone, which is Reillusion's tool for animation. And it really simplifies the whole animation process for me. I can easily take any motion capture or downloaded motion, add animation layers over it and edit it however I like. Once I'm happy, I export everything to Blender via a simple add-on and once in Blender, I finish up my characters by appending armor, helmets, weapons and shields, finalizing the whole process there. The great thing is, if you worked in the previous versions of the software, you'll still feel right at home in version 5. So if you want a step-by-step -step introduction, you can still check out my tutorial series on this channel. Nothing major has changed since the previous versions. Well, that's not quite true, because now, with version 5, there are of course many new additions and improvements. Creating truly unique human meshes was always a bit of a problem for me in CC4. You get your base sector, you can morph it quite a bit, add new textures and materials, but still it takes quite a while to make the model look truly distinct from the original base mesh. This is where the new tools come in. You can now define several actors to choose from. These are base ingredients and then very quickly and interactively mix between them within a new interface. You can blend together various categories from full body to facial features, noses, ears and more. This really makes creating a bit more unique characters much easier. If you're after realism, CC5 now goes all out in detail. You can increase subdivisions and add new HD morphs, so instead of having all the detail packed into textures and normal maps, you can also add it through actual geometry deformations. It's a level of detail that would have been really hard to achieve in the previous version, and on top of that, there are displacement maps, so whatever isn't possible to shape within geometry can be displaced by maps. How cool is that? Besides that, there are improvements in textures, which can now go up to 8K, and these improvements also include the eyes. I think that previously this was the weakest part of character creator's models, and since eyes are really the gates to the soul, as they say, it's great to see them improved, more detailed and far more realistic. CC5 also brings in a new extended facial rig, which takes another step toward more realistic facial animations. I think it's still not completed there, especially when you use something like the live cam tool, but it has definitely improved a lot, sometimes really hitting the sweet spot of believable facial performance. This area is definitely one of the most difficult to achieve in 3D, so getting this automatically is already a great thing. All these new features are also directly supported in Blender, both in Cycles and Eevee. So you don't have to be restricted to Character Creator or iClone, you can simply use the export window, set up Blender preset, and then download the CC add-on, install it in Blender as you would any other add-on, and bring in the characters. When it comes to other software like 3ds Max, Maya, ZBrush or Unreal, I can't really attest to how smooth the compatibility is, but I have no reason to doubt it. The guys from Reillusion really went above and beyond to make their characters easily usable across all the most popular 3D tools. And judging by how easy it is to bring assets into Blender, basically with just one click, I think it's going to be the same for other applications as well. Nowadays, I like to take my CC characters and make them look stylized for the new NPR look of Heroes of Bronze. And while that basically means throwing away all the finer texture detail, 
The base is still there. The truth is, whatever project I embark on, when it comes to human base meshes, it always starts in Character Creator. Yes, the software is pricey, and with all the additional tools and add-ons that you might want to get, it gets even more costly, but when you compare it to subscription-based tools, the math changes quickly. With Reillusion, you pay once for their tools, and that's it. So yeah, nothing changes for me even in 2025, I stand by Reillusion and their tools all the way. And especially if realism and ease of character creation are your goals, I think you'll find this update particularly worth it. So thanks for watching and until next time, stay creative my friends, Martin out.